हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल ओके सो आई थिंक वी हैव टू स्टार्ट विथ ट्रिक्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन टूडे राइट All right. Settle down, everyone. What is the next chapter according to your syllabus? Is it trigonometry? Next chapter according to your syllabus. It is trigonometry only, na? All right. So let us start with trigonometry only. Okay. All right. So I think trigonometry is a chapter that you are already familiar with. We'll be starting with the basic angles, and then uh, thetas, and then uh, trigonometric functions, identities, and their relations. Okay. So we'll be just dealing with the same trigonometry that you have already studied, but in an advanced manner. Okay. So just carefully listen to it, and if you pay attention in the class, I think you'll be able to understand each and every concept of it. All right. Since it is a uh, very important topic, uh, like really it is important, and uh, you need to pay a, uh, um, what shall I say that? You need to solve more questions than what you solved before, because this is the major topic, one of the major topic. This constitutes about twenty thirty percent of the class eleven syllabus. And this is related with your physics and class twelfth. It is also present in class twelfth also. All right. So you'll have to deal with it uh, sincerely. All right. 
Now, trigonometry, if you understand, you'll be able to get everything and you'll be able to get the marks also. Okay, that is also quite easy. If you under, Once you understood, you'll be able to get marks very easily. So let's start with angles. First topic that we'll be doing is angles. All right. Now see here. Um, this is the initial side. How do we draw the angles? What is an angle? Angle is basically uh, subtended by two rays. So what happens? A ray is there. A ray is there. Let us say that OA is a ray. And another ray is coming out of OA. That is OB. If we turn OA, this will be the angle, theta. Theta is a, a variable for the angle. So this is initial side. Initial side. This is the final side. And this is the angle. All right, theta. Theta is generally uh, like uh, uh, considered in degrees. And the SI unit of theta is radians. So we'll be talking about in radians and degrees as well. All right. Theta is positive when taken anti-clockwise. See, if this is the coordinate system, and if we consider it anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, then this is positive. Otherwise, if theta is taken clockwise, like this, then this is negative. You have to consider these two things. Theta is to be taken anti-clockwise from the positive x-axis, then that is positive. Otherwise, it is negative. Okay. So one system of unit is have sexagesimal system. Decimal system. Okay. In this system of unit, we read degrees, degrees, minutes, and seconds. Okay. So degree is the biggest unit. Smaller to that is minutes, smallest to that is seconds. All right. So we can measure like this three degrees, 40 minutes, and let us say 30 seconds. So seconds is a double, uh, like a uh, uh, comma that you put there on the above. And uh, for minutes, it's just one like this. And degrees is a small uh, circle on the top right corner. Superscript that we say. All right. So this is degrees, minutes, and seconds. Like we say now, 50 rupees, 40 paise. So paise is the smaller unit of rupees. Similarly, here we have uh, minutes smaller than degrees and seconds smallest of all. So we measure like this. One degree has 60 minutes and one minute also has 60 seconds. So we don't go till 100 here. If you count uh, 58 seconds, 59 seconds, it is like this. 58 seconds, 59 seconds, and then we don't count 60 seconds. It is one minute like this. Then 58 minutes, then 59 minutes, and then one degree like this. It goes like this. Understood? Put a thumbs up if you understood everything till here. Good. Ramdev, I've understood everything. I do remember some of the names. That's good. And I think beside Ramdev, she is um, Janni. If I'm not wrong. All right. All right. Write it down. Let us move on to the next page. And tell me when it is written. If you focus in the class, every concept will be taught. I will not leave anything. But what I require from your side is to solve more and more questions, which I cannot do in one hour class. That is nearly impossible. I'll try to uh, I'll try to solve as much questions as is required to clear the concept. But still, you need to solve more questions. Ramdev, which books do you follow? No books, sir. Uh, NCRT. Only NCRT won't do. Get one more book. Anyone, anyone you like. Maybe R.S. Agrawal, R.D. Sharma. R.D. Sharma. R.D. Sharma? Okay, that's good. That's good. Any one more book you should follow. Everyone. Written? Shall we move on? Yes, sir. 
All right. Now, what is the relation between radian and your degrees? So if you convert degrees, degrees is 180 by pi uh, or uh, we can do it like this. Degrees into pi by 180 is that angle will be in radians. That is the relation. If you have got 60 degrees, so 60 degrees means what? 60 into pi by 180. That is pi by 3 radians. Both are same. Okay. 60 degrees and pi by 3 radians, both are same. What will be the radian angle for 90 degrees? Pi by 2. Pi by 2. Good. Okay. One more thing. If we have a circular part of a, uh, a curve part of a circle, or we have all of the circle, like this. Let us say that this is a circle and I'm taking a part of it. Okay. So this length is what? Tell me. Arc. All right. This length is called an arc. Okay. And let us say the radius is R and the arc length is L. This is L is a minor arc or major arc? Yeah. Minor arc. My major arc means what? You have to cover more than half of the uh, circumference. L is covering less than half of the circumference. So it will be a minor arc. All right. So in this case, this theta, this theta in radians, in radius will be L by R. Length of arc by radius. That will be theta. L by R. Completed, sir. Completed? Yes, sir. All right. Now, see here. Um, one more thing. Basically, this radian and uh, pi, that radian and degrees conversion comes from here. How much this angle is? 180 degrees. 180 degrees. This is 180 degrees because complete angle is 360 degrees. So, it is half of it. So, 180 degrees. 180 degrees comprises of pi radians. So from here, you can use the unitary method to calculate the angles, whatever in whatever unit they want to ask. All right. Yes, sir. Okay, so let us have some questions. Yes, sir. You have to convert. So I'll, I'll just show you one of the uh, one of the questions. How to how to solve one of them? For example, uh, if you are converting uh, five pi by twenty four, this is in radians, and we have to convert it into degrees and minutes and seconds. Okay, so how do we do that? So first of all. 
we know that 180 degrees comprises of pi radians, right? 180 degrees comprises of pi radians. Now, one radian will be what? 180 by pi degrees? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Unitary method. So, how much radians do we have? Five. How much radians do we have? So, 5 pi by 24. That will be 180 by pi into 5 pi by 24. This much degrees. This pi, this pi gets cancelled. So, it will be 180 into 5 by 24. So it will be 12, this will be 90, this will be 6, this will be um, 45, then 3, 3, 2, then 3, 15. So it is 75 upon 2, right? So 75 upon 2 degrees. Now we have to expand it. How will we expanding it? So first what we'll be doing, we'll be dividing it. So it is uh, 75 divided by 2. How much it will be? 37.5. Now this 0.5 is not there. 0.5 we have to convert it into minutes. So 0.5 into 60. Okay. How much it would be? 30? Yes, sir. So it will be 37 degrees and 30 minutes. And now since it is over, so 0, 0 seconds. This is how we have to represent it. Understood? Write it down, everyone. And then I'll give you one question to solve. Written? Yes, sir. All right. So try to convert, try to convert minus two degrees into radian. Uh, sorry, minus two radians into degrees. This is radians. Radians is given with the subscript superscript C. C means it is in radians. You have to convert it in degrees.
Did you get the answer? Okay, we'll wait for two more minutes. Sir, one fourteen degree, sir. Only one fourteen degree. One fourteen degrees is correct, but you have to go beyond that. One minute fifty five seconds, sir. One minute fifty five second. Sir. No, this is wrong. <laughs> Answers 114 degrees, sir. 32 minutes. 114 is how much seconds? 45 seconds, sir. 45 seconds is also uh, no 44 seconds. And how many minutes? 32 minutes, 44 seconds is the correct answer. Who got it? Who got it? Okay, you are just uh, answer deferred by one second, right? No problem, but try to be exact. Okay, next question. Convert minus 37 degrees and 20, 30, sorry, my, uh, one minute, one minute. Convert um, 3 by 4 radians in 2 seconds. Do this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, go on. What's your answer? Sir, wait for two minutes, sir. Okay. Last bench boys, are you solving? Please, everyone try to solve. If you have doubts, go and ask. Otherwise, you won't be able to understand. Yeah, go on. How much? Three lakh forty two thousand seven eighty seconds. Okay. What is this? Janani, I heard a word from you, and that was correct. What were you discussing? Yeah. What are you talking about? One lakh fifty four thousand. I heard that forty two degrees. Who said this word? I heard 42 degrees. Who said this word? Forty two degrees? Fifty seven minutes? One second. One second. No, it is sixteen seconds. Oh, <laughs> what is how? <laughs> okay, I'll solve it. I'll solve it. See, 3 by 4 into 180 by pi. 
So it can be written as three by four into one eighty, and instead of pi, I am writing twenty two, and the seven goes up. Agree? Yes, sir. So this is the degrees. If you solve this, so I'll I'm not using the calculator, so I'll be doing it by myself here only. Ninety two forty five. Okay. Now, so three uh forty five into seven into three. What is this? Forty five into seven into three. Uh, seven five thirty five three. Seven four twenty eight thirty one. Thirty one. Three one five into three. Three five fifteen one. Three one three one four and three three nine nine forty five. If I'm not wrong. Yes, sir. All right. So it is nine forty five by twenty two. Agree. So twenty two divided by nine forty five will be what? Twenty two four is eighty eight. It is sixty five. Twenty two two is a forty four. Then it is one, and uh, it is here twenty one. So it is forty two degrees first. Now twenty one. Twenty one. Uh, or let it be in points. Let us first make it in points. So twenty point zero nine nine to eighteen one nine to eighteen. Uh, nine to eighteen one hundred to nineteen. So it is. Twelve, I guess. Twelve, I guess. Uh, if I'm not wrong. Twelve. Is it twelve? Yes, sir. One minute. Let me check the answer then. Otherwise, if we can go through this way, it is forty-two degrees. I think some mistake is there in this book. Then in this answer, forty-two degrees will be there. This will be the degrees. All right. Yeah. Then twenty-one, twenty-one. Um. Yeah. Or if we can take it into, it will be nine. One eighty-eight. One ninety-eight. Sorry, one ninety-eight. Uh, nine two is eighteen. One nine two is eighteen. Nineteen. Then it is two. Oh, sorry. One point zero five. One one zero ten. Uh, again, I think four. No, zero point nine five. So point nine five zero point nine five. Uh, this will be uh into sixty minutes. Okay. How much it would be? So six five is a thirty three. Six nine is a fifty four. Fifty seven. Fifty seven. Thirty three. Six nine is a fifty four. Fifty seven. And uh, one more zero. So this will be fifty seven. Fifty seven minutes. Forty two degrees. Fifty seven minutes. Now. You will be saying, sir, how the sixteen seconds come now? Okay, so for this sixty seconds, we'll have to divide it more. To be exact, we'll have to divide it more. It was nine forty-five now. Ha, so now see here, nine forty-five. So earlier it was four eighty-eight, sixty-five. Ah, uh, then we two forty-four, one twenty-one point zero nine, one ninety-eight twelve point zero, then five. One one zero, then one zero point zero, then uh, four. I think it will be eighty eight, twelve, zero five. So now zero point nine five four five times sixty. Now check it. Zero 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 four six five thirty six four the twenty four twenty seven two six five the thirty two three six nine the fifty four fifty seven. Okay, so it will be zero zero seven two seven five. And four. Ah, uh, here. So fifty-seven. 
So 57 and after, this will be minutes. And after the points, it will be in seconds. So 0 0.27 into 60 again, because one minute contain 60 seconds, right? So this will be zero. Uh, it will be uh, six, seven, the 42, four, six, two, the 12, uh, for zero, zero, uh, 42, four, six or 12, 16, zero, two, six, one, two decimals. So 16 seconds approximately we can take. So that's how we got 42 degrees, 57 minutes, and now 16 seconds. This is how we'll be getting the answer. Understood or not? This yes, is sir. what you have to do. All right, write it down. Then, shall we move on? Yeah. All right. Now, a question says that uh, the difference between the difference between two acute angles two acute angles of a right triangle of a right triangle is pi by 5 radians find the angle in degrees solve this Sir. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. Sir. 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 See, the angles are in radians here, 2 pi by 9, pi by 3, and 4 pi by 9. So 2 pi by 9 means what? Um, 40 degrees, I guess. And 60 degrees. 80 degrees. These are the answer. Take a calculations again. Difference between two acute angles of a right triangle. See, this is a right triangle. And this these are the two acute angles. So let us say this is uh, theta. This will be alpha and this is 90 degrees. So theta minus alpha is given to you pi by 5. Or you can convert it into degrees to calculate it better. Pi by 5 into 180 by pi. So it will be um, 36 degrees. So theta minus alpha is 36 degrees. Now you have to find theta and alpha. Two variables. You need two equations. One is given. Can you form the other?
No, I have told you the answer. This is the answer. See, this is one equation. Did you understand this? Yes or no? Yes, sir. This an other equation which we can form is that. Can we say that theta plus alpha plus 90 will be equals to 180 degrees? So from there, theta plus alpha should be equals to 90 degrees. Two equations, two variables. We formed it. Now, if you add 1 and 2, theta minus alpha is 36 degrees and theta plus alpha is 90 degrees. If you add both of them, this will get cancelled. 2 theta is equals to 126 degrees. Theta will be equals to how much? 4. Huh? 63. And simultaneously, alpha will be equal to? 27 degrees. 27 degrees. Yes, sir. Then this is wrong. Is it matching with your answer? Yes, then I think this book uh, has some mistakes. So this is the answers. Got it? All right. So one last question for today. One more. Question says that three angles of a triangle, three angles of a triangle are in AP, are in AP, and the greatest angle. And the greatest angle is double the least. Is double the least. Find all angles in degrees and radians. Do it.
Yeah. Go on, go on. The answer in degrees is 40, 60, and 80. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Good. What is the name? I could not hear that. Um, Ramdev, can you please spell it out? Achha, Nandini, Nandini. Okay. All right. Good, good. That's good. Ah. Yeah. Ah, that's correct. 2 pi by 9, 5 by 3, and 4 pi by 9. Everyone solve it. Everyone solve it. And convert 330 degrees in radians. Uh, not five by six, uh, one minute, one minute. Ah, eleven five by six, correct, correct. All right. So take one question as homework. So question says that the angles of quadrilateral are in AP and the greatest angle is double the least. least express least angle in radians write it down Written? Yes, sir. That's all for today. We'll be covering, this is one subtopic, angles. Tomorrow we'll be discussing about some functions, trigonometric functions, and then their relations, and then some advanced version of it. All right. Okay, then. Yes, Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Keep solving. Okay.